Hey guys, good morning. I'm getting an early start. <laughs> so, um, you know, uh, yesterday was a rough day. I mean, I've really had a rough week. Oh my goodness, no excuses. But yeah, I think uh, yesterday was my breaking point and it all just came together. So if you saw my video yesterday, you know what I'm talking about. But, uh, you know, I wanted to share my story. I, really not my my uh, life vantage story, but I'm gonna go ahead and share it anyways. It's revised, it's changed a little bit because uh, I, wanna, I want you guys to know some things that you probably don't know. And uh, I want you to think about sacrifices that people make for you and uh, sacrifices you make for others and uh, lots of people make sacrifices that are involved in our stories so real quick we're gonna start from the point where life vantage came into my life and it was really um, it really was a God it was a God thing it was a blessing I walked into a feed store and an old friend of mine just happened to be there and uh, she said, I've got something I need to share with you for your wife. All right. Well, that was it. That was the writing on the wall. I did my research. I ended up getting in July 12th of that, that month. And um, it was a big blessing because we had just lost three cars. We just lost our home. I mean, within, you know, two, three year period, you know, from the depression of what was happening. And uh, we both lost our jobs, my wife and I. It was a very, very rough time in our lives. So when this happened, it really gave me hope. We lost our, even our uh, retirement. Um, unfortunately, we, well not unfortunately, fortunately we'd already started the horse rescue and, and we were working that for a while. and. That's all we had. And the place that we were at, the owner of the property, we were leasing it. He ended up selling the property out from underneath us, not letting us know. We had 30 days we had to move and oh my goodness, talk about stress. Well, the first person that I want to talk about is Cindy Hicks and Bill Hicks. These two people actually sacrificed their property and their home so we would have some place to live <laughs> and bring all the horses just so we could get on our feet and start over again now this is my sponsor that is the sponsor to life vantage and i'm forever in debt to her for that and and bringing life vantage into my life <clears throat> we stayed at that place for about a year and if you remember uh roughly october of last year uh, somebody uh, nominated me to be a Life Vantage hero because of the work that I do with the horses and the work that I do with children with autism and things like that, PTSD and, well, well soldiers with PTSD. Well, that was a blessing also because it was, at the time, we were looking to try and raise money to possibly purchase that piece of property from Cindy and Bill. Um, we started to GoFundMe and it was going and it was going slow, but <clears throat> I don't know if the person that nominated me wants me to say anything because I just found out recently who it was, so I'm not going to say anything. But it was great, you know, we got a lot of notoriety, we got out there, we got our name out there in front of all these people at Global, and it really touched my heart. But there was one person in particular who heard the message about what was going on with us and didn't know us. And out of the blue, she came up to me after the ceremony and said, gave me a hug and said, don't worry, your horses will be safe. And, uh, she sacrificed a lot for a complete stranger 
Her name's Sandy Peterson. And you, I don't know if you guys know her. She's an amazing woman. She's young and she's got a lot of spunk. And let me tell you something. When I met her, I was like, oh my God, she's just everywhere. She's just all over the place. And uh, she gave me a hug and she said, everything's going to be all right. And this person, this lady, sacrificed her reputation by going up to every single pro tan in the company. She actually went up to, uh, oh my goodness, uh, my mind is somewhere else, so I'm not thinking. Eric Worre, and spoke to Eric Worre about helping us. She did all these things, and she was almost kicked out of Global because her belief in helping us was so strong. Well, some folks had helped us, and a lot of a lot of independent distributors had reached out to me and and donated and, and helped us, and we're so we're so grateful for that. But I want you to know, her sacrifice was that she put her reputation on the line for a complete stranger not only did she do that when we were unable to raise the money I mean we raised just a tiny percentage of what we needed she stepped forward and she she purchased the ranch that we're at now she paid it in full and purchased the ranch she sacrificed the money that she had raised for her charity to help ours. In the meantime, she was so un understood by others that she was chastised and even asked to please leave Life Vantage because of the fact that they thought she was crazy. Because who is this person talking to all these people to help this guy? So I think when we look at situations from the outside in, we must have an empathetic heart and be so very grateful for all of the things that we have, all of the things that we will have, and all of the things that we have had. Hey Keith, you're catching up. You're catching the, the wet end of my story. <laughs> well, I want you to know the sacrifice doesn't end there. We didn't know when we got this property that the people that were on it before us destroyed the home that was on the farm. So it was unlivable. Well, guess what Sandy did now? Sandy brought an RV to my property and said, Rick, live in the RV until you're on your feet and until the farm is right. So yes, yesterday's chain of events made me crack. And it also made me realize how important many of the people in my life are. And it's all because of my vantage. <coughs> And the family and friends that we've created within this company. She didn't want me to post anything about her. But people need to lift. They need to lift the way they feel about her and um, give her a chance. Despite all the, the negative things that were said to her and about her, she has managed to strive forward and continue to build her business in Life Vantage because she knows this is her opportunity. And I am so proud to say that I've been able to be a part of that with her. And uh, if it was not for Sandy Peterson, there would be no Life Vantage for me probably, and there would be no family horse ranch for me either.
So I don't want to drag this out any further, but that is my why. And really the point here is to understand and know that Sacrifice and commitment is everything. It is everything. My sacrifice to this country, my commitment to this country, my sacrifice to my friends and family, and my commitment to my friends and family. And the main reason I'm doing my vantage now is to build a wealth within underneath my feet so that I can do the same for others that Sandy has done for me and to repay those that have been bricked the pathway for me to be able to be here and sit and talk to you so god bless everybody think about somebody today think about one person in your life that has made a commitment to you no matter how big or how small pick up the phone and call them and for no reason no reason other than to know that you did it tell them thank you and say you love them. And that's it. It's going to make their day. I am now going to get a U-Haul and go back to the Marine base and get the rest of my stuff. And this time, I promise I won't drop it all over the street. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. God bless. Build your businesses. Please get your tickets for Anaheim. I want to see you there. I want you to meet Sandy in person. She's going to be right there by my side. We're building this business together with or without you. We would rather have you with us. God bless and have a great day.